Hey guys, Phoenix Spring Tarot. <clears throat> so in this reading, we are going to be looking into Dwayne, Wade and Gabrielle Union. There's been a lot in the press of late regarding them, whether they'll be getting a divorce, whether they're not, whether Dwayne has been stepping out on the marriage, whether he hasn't. So there's been a lot of speculation. So we'll just be doing a current energies relationship spread into these two. So Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels of the highest light frequency, please protect myself. Please protect those viewing this reading. Please provide the messages. Please provide messages of the highest vibration frequency that we can apply to our own lives and give us insight to the situation. Okay. Oh boy. The deceit card is up. First one. It's definitely people doing things. Do you know what? Do you know what I get with this? Sorry, do you know what I get? Yeah, yeah, thank you. So we have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. They're both appearing here. But it's interesting with the King and the Queen, and especially of Wands, they're both appearing. But this is precisely what I was getting with this card. It's not just about someone stepping out on a situation, but it's about both of them presenting a front that is not genuine or it's not real. So the deception runs deeper than one person stepping out. I'm not saying both are stepping out, but I'm saying what they're giving me immediately is that with the both of them, the both of them are, in terms of their marriage, they're not being honest in terms of the way they portray it. That's what I'm picking up here. They have two children, don't they? I think it's the teenager. Is her name Zara? The one, the... Oh God, you don't even know what terms to use these days. I don't want to offend anyone, but there's a child who's transitioned. I can't remember her name. My apologies. And then there's a younger child. There's another child as well. Yeah. Okay. Apologies for the noise in the background. They've just decided to do construction work just outside my window. All right. So let's continue with this. Spirit Guys, God and Angels, thank you for these messages. Oh my God, two tens. Okay, tens refer to endings here. And we have two tens. Someone feels as if they've been stabbed in the back for sure. <sighs> Someone feels in this relationship that they have the burden of being... It's as if someone feels that they're more committed to the family than someone else. Let's just put it that way. I also feel that someone in this, and I feel they're telling me Gabrielle, feels that she has been hard done by. But what I'm getting with this energy, I'm getting, and please, all messages are alleged in this reading until proven fact, but with Gabrielle, I'm getting a sort of a, a martyrdom energy with this. It's like, oh, I'm minding my business and you've done this to me. However, it's not a matter that, and when I say you've done this to me, I'll take it that it's Dwayne because it's both of them in this relationship. But it's not a matter of you've done this to me. It's a matter that you know what the situation was. You know what this was from the beginning. It, that's what I'm getting. Because for you to go into a relationship reading and the first cards, this is both of them. This is Dwayne, this is her, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. And the first energy you get is your deception card. What this is saying, this spread right up here, this is their current energies of their relationship, and this is a relationship that appears to be on the outs with the two tens. Tens talk about endings. And we have deceit book ending their relationship. This is them, this is family, deceit on either side. Okay, I'm just, just reading the cards, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, what else could we say about this? Did Gabrielle, who stepped out on, did anyone step out on anyone? Was there a cheatation in this situation? Was there cheating in this situation? Hierophant. They may very well be with lawyers already, with this Hierophant energy. They may very well be with lawyers. It's as if they're negotiating how to come out of this. And they're, they're really drawing my attention to the handshake, like there's some sort of agreement. There is some sort of activity which 
Okay, please don't shoot a messenger. I'm just going to say what I'm hearing from my spirit guides. And interestingly enough, I usually hear messages out of my right ear. I'm hearing it out of my left ear. But there is something that both of them, like a lot of stuff in the press is what they want us to know. There is something that's, that they are agreeing on. There's something that's going to remain hidden. And they are agreeing that it's going to remain hidden. But they are with lawyers at the moment. What else is there? There we go. We have another 10. We have three 10s on the board here. But this is what I keep on saying with this 10 of pentacles. Everything is an impression. It's giving an impression. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I keep on saying this. Don't shoot the messenger with this. What this is giving me is a marriage. Do you know what it's giving me? It's giving me like Will Smith and Jada. It's like, is this really, was this even a really a marriage to begin with? And I think that is why we were getting the deceit card in front of all of this. It's like the deceit and the hierophant, which is talking about agreement because they're drawing me to this handshake. And both people pleading their case to like a higher legal authority. Was this marriage even? And with the Ten of Pentacles here, the Ten of Pentacles is coming next to the king, next to the both of them and a ten. And I can't help but say this is giving impression. It's giving an impression of something. Because why would you have your two children but something be a burden? Either they have different opposing points of view as to how to raise their family or their ch I, I don't know, but... And I'm hearing in my ear that someone may be looking at this and maybe saying, you can't interpret this literally, this Ten of Wands, but my guides are telling me to interpret it literally, okay? So it's not just the cards, but I'm channeling as well. <sighs> Weird. Okay, what else could you let us know? What else could you let us know about the false, any further messages regarding the falseness of this? There is something about here as well, the family being It's as if their brand and the agreement they have here, it's as if their brand and how they were venturing in to make money as well is talking about social, it's breaking social and cultural norms. You know, it's almost as if they, again, they're telling me Will and Jada, it's almost as if they want to have their equivalent of a red table or something like that. Like there is a lot of heavy branding and business around their union and their relationship. You have Ace of Swords, Three of Cups. Aces talks about new beginnings. Three of Cups is someone feeling, because we have the Three of Cups next to the endings, which is the two tens. Oh no. Oh gosh, I don't know whether I want to go into this sort of... Okay, clarify this Three of Cups for me. I think I know what this Three of Cups is, and this is where we're getting into the darker side of this reading. Yep, I knew it. 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 <sighs> three of Cups is stepping out. Someone is stepping out here, and someone feels betrayed by that stepping out. However, guys, this is not your normal, ordinary stepping out. This is a sort of stepping out where something has happened, and it would be in everyone's best interest, Gabrielle's best interest, Dwayne's best interest, to keep this hidden. Notice this Three of Cups card. As I said before, remember, I said to you that someone is going to be looking at this and saying that I'm interpreting these cards too literally. My guides are saying interpret them literally. Who is presented on this card with the Three of Cups? That's all I'm saying. Move. Something is hidden. Something is being done behind closed doors. Something is being done under, under cover of darkness. We have the deceit card. We have the moon card. It's things that are hidden and it's portraying something that is not true or honest. This is, this is the bedrock of this relationship. And I'm also seeing, oh no, 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 no. Notice the number of cards. It's as if I'm picking up that this is... 
Gabrielle's energy. Notice the number of cards in the back. To say it's betrayal is just the tip of the iceberg, but it's as if she knows she what's happening behind her back. She knows this. Moon is hidden, right? She knows everything is happening behind her back with these men, but it's as if she's, she turns a blind eye towards it, right? She's turning a blind eye towards it. Now, messages in this reading are alleged. I say it again. There have been rumors online about this, Dwayne and his activity. There have been rumors. Oh, my goodness. They're oh, okay. They're telling me that it's not just men here. But Gabrielle turns a blind eye to it. Okay, so if she's been turning, oh my goodness, oh, I knew it. My question was, if she's been turning a blind eye to it all this time, why is this different now? It's because with the tower, there is something that's happened. Someone was a bit too reckless that she cannot ignore anymore. It's as if, thank you, Spirit Guides, it's as if she has one foot in, one foot out in terms of whether to leave this. But it's not to say that she wants to leave because she's fed up with the situation. It could be that she's she's looking at her own brand and she's looking to protect her brand, protect her identity. Because what she's afraid of is if whatever has happened becomes public, she's afraid of people looking at her as if she's a mug. Basically is what it is. Because with this ten of ones, ten of swords here, look at it. This is the multiple times that Dwayne has cheated on her, all the people that he's cheated with. She's turned a blind eye to it. She knows. She knows it. All she has to do is turn her head to the back and she can see everything happening. But she chooses to ignore it and distract herself. She chooses to ignore it. But however, on this occasion, there is something that's happened where she may not be able to ignore it anymore and there's a risk of it being made public. And that's what I was saying with the temperance card. <gasps> I literally predicted this and channeled the message of this card before it's come up. Like she is being shown as a divine feminine, um, divine, yeah, feminine, divine feminine, feminism, feminist, Yep, feminist, a mother, a best friend, her spiritualism. You know, she is a woman of all. And that's what I'm saying. It's her reputation of presenting and her brand is what is under threat. That's what I'm seeing. And look, we also have, I was just shuffling this card was up. I'll take it. Nine of swords. That's what I'm saying. That for her is under threat. Again, her money maker, her ability to make money, the way she presents herself as the brand. That's what I'm saying. That is under threat. This is not about, oh, do I love him? We have the double card. We have the knight of swords. Admonish someone has been silly. Someone has been foolish. That's what I'm saying. I'm not seeing anything about whatever Dwayne's been doing. He's always been doing it, basically. He's just always been doing it. Knight of Swords and the Devil. It's just that on this occasion, he didn't think. He was foolish. He was reckless. Something he did was foolish. Something he was doing was reckless. Um, some indulgence that he's been taking part in with the Devil card. Notice that we have substances there. And this is someone being caught. It's as if some, you know what? Let me just call it a bit. It could be either one of them, both of them was caught in an activity where they were less than smart, where they were foolish. And because they have been caught, it's causing them to panic. They've managed to keep it out of the press for now, but it's causing them to panic. Like someone is telling someone off for being foolish, for being dumb. Bottom of the deck, lovers. It's a chitation in the situation. This lover's card is coming up next to the moon. This is what I'm saying. It's like... Here. Yeah. Okay, anything else? So should we end this here? I'm going to ask, did Gabrielle cheat on Wayne while he was with his first wife? Or were they on the outs? It's just a question I have. Did she cheat on him? Did Dwayne have a child with his wife? Oh, do you know what they say? How you allegedly, allegedly, until proven fact, how you get them is how you lose them. Is that right? How you get them? How you get them is how you lose them. I think so. So they're saying yes. So a lot of the times, I think what has been said in the press is that Gabrielle, they were on the outs, they were already separated. Dwayne was already separated from his first wife before they get, got together. 
However, I'm not seeing that with the Two of Pentacles. He was juggling both of them at the same time. Dwayne was. But I, I don't think he was just juggling Gabrielle and juggling the other wife. I feel that he was doing more than that with this too. So what she's been presenting, because from the time I asked, was Gabrielle getting involved? What I'm being shown here is a solid family unit. So Dwayne was in a solid family unit. And here we have someone with a queen of swords. So in the context of this reading, a queen of swords is someone who is callous, someone who doesn't care, someone who keeps very calm while they backstab or put... Look at these people being hung in the background, whereas they're very calm. They're very... And look at her. She's very meticulous. She knows what she's going after. And then we have the lover's card, which is two next to the ace of cups. So they did start while they were married. And then we have the two of pentacles as well. What I'm picking up with Gabrielle here is a lot of ambition with her. Like she sees herself as almost like I'm being told the phrase queen bee. And yeah, okay. Anything else that we haven't covered to wrap up this reading? Anything else that we haven't covered to wrap up this reading? Six of Swords. Yeah, with this High Priestess, there is something going on in the background that they haven't. It's a matter of whether they can do damage control because this news of whatever happened, that coming out, would damage both their reputations, irrespective of how someone tries to do the PR and spin around it. It's something that... It's almost as if everyone in the industry knows. They just haven't said it. So she can't really pretend that it didn't happen or it hasn't been happening because it would be a damage to her credibility. Yeah, there we go. This is what I'm talking about, the shame. There's a lot of shame with this. She is embarrassed. And I'm being told terrified as well. There is something that's happened, but there's a lot of shame behind here. But notice these two cups being up. Again, if uh, this is talking about having your authenticity, if you were authentic from the very beginning, you wouldn't be in this position. But what was, but with this four of cups here, what was, yeah, it, it's like someone reflecting on the way they were acting or someone reflecting on the decisions that they've made in the past and realizing that they've made a mistake or they've made an out and there's a life lesson to be learned from this situation and I feel that it's on Gabrielle's side okay guys I'm just going to leave that reading here let me know what you guys think and I'll see you all in future readings bye for now